In non-swing states, there's a lot of different ways you can vote strategically. Frankly, it would probably, I think the Republican Party is done as a national party anyways. So uh, to the extent that I would ever consider voting, um, you meant not in swing states. To the extent that, you would con that one would consider voting for the Libertarian Party to empower it as to a way of undercutting the Republican Party on national elections, I don't think that's necessary. If Mitt Romney loses this election, and I believe he will, the demographics are such with this country that the Republican Party, unless it undergoes a radical change, will not be able to function as a national party anymore. They will win House seats. They will still win Senate seats. Senate seats in even less amounts. I mean, look at this, look at this year in the Senate. The Republicans should be taking control of the Senate. It does not appear that they're going to do so because the party is moving so far to the right that they can't even win when there is a state full of people. <laughs> they can win when it's a small district and it's been gerrymandered and it's just all like-minded nut jobs watching Fox 24 hours a day. But when they have to mingle with other human beings, they're going to lose. And so if Mitt Romney does not win this presidential election, and perhaps even if he does, I don't think he's going to. But if he does not, I don't think it's possible for a Republican to win on a national level unless they radically change their views about immigration, unless they radically change their views about things like climate change, um, unless they stop their overt voter suppression. You know, because apparently people don't like other people trying to take their vote away. And they also don't like um, other people trying to take their vote away of people, you know, if I, I'll tell you something. If I'm an African-American, I mean, as a white person, I find it offensive. But if I'm, uh, let me put it this way. If the Republican Party was explicitly trying to disenfranchise Jewish voters, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm serious, by, um, by uh, choosing, um, you know, uh, mechanisms to disenfranchise Jewish voters in, let's say, Missouri, I would be particularly sensitive about voting for that party in New York or anywhere else for that matter. Like if election day was like on a Friday night? Yeah, exactly. Like we're going to hold elections on Friday night. Now, I don't celebrate Shabbat, but, uh, you know, I could actually go to the polls. But if it was like, we really don't want the, uh, the Orthodox Jews on Saturday. So we're going to have elections will be on Saturday uh, during the day um, and close at sundown. I think that I would have a problem with that, even though I don't even, you know. Did you see what Lindsey Graham said? He said the other day. Yeah, we're running out of uh, white, angry men to vote for us. No, that was a couple of weeks ago. But he said the other day, he said, if we lose this election and people say it's because we weren't conservative enough, I'll go nuts. And he said, we don't win any African-American voters, any Hispanic voters, any young voters. Who are we supposed to be appealing to here? How can we possibly well, yeah. get more conservative? Yeah. Look, there is going to be, um, and we'll talk more about this tomorrow, but one of the things that you're going to see is an, an attempt by the remaining so-called moderate faction in the Republican Party. And that's, I put that moderate in quotes because they have moved to the right as well. But uh, to attempt to take their party back. There's been talk of this for some time. Uh, you're going to see it in the House. You're going to see it in the Senate to the extent that they, they can anyways. Um, they're going to fail. They're going to fail. Uh, but it, it should be an interesting um, a period of time, you know, over the next six months, it seems what happened with the Republican Party, because they're going to fail. Uh, they're going to be having a civil war. And I, I imagine that on the left, we're also going to be having a civil war.